Now let's create a particle effect for the bubble so that when I click on the bubble, the bubble bursts into uh, smaller bubbles. So the bubble bursts into smaller particles. So in order to do that, the first thing I'm going to do is select the bubble and I'm going to right click on it and click on edit animations and in my menu here I'm going to click on copy and I'm going to close this and I'm going to now right click on my layout click on insert new object and I'm going to select particles and click insert I'll see the plus sign and I'm going to click on it to draw the object and from my menu I'm going to click on the paste tool and I'm going to select enlarge canvas and the first thing what I need to do is I need to crop the transparent edges. Now I want to resize. This is too big. I need this bubble to be smaller size like 100 by 100. So I'm going to click on the tool resize and I'm going to select the width as 100. Again, I'm oh, sorry, I'm going to do it again and I'm going to select the height as well, 100 so that I have a 100 by 100 bubble and I'm going to close this. Now I'm going to drag my bubble and put it on the bottom outside my visible layout. Now let's create the particle effect for the bubble. So I'm going to select my sprite particle which I just copied from the bubble and the first thing I'm going to look at the properties and give the name so I'm going to call it as spawn particle press enter and I'm going to look at the other properties in here the rate property I'm going to keep it as 50 uh, spray cone I'm going to put it as 360 and the type is going to be one shot the speed I probably will have it a little slower so I'm going to put 150 and size let's do 20 and uh, let's put the speed randomizer as 50 and size randomizer as 20 now let's test and see if we get the bubble particle effect Actually, let's see this. I'm going to click Run. And if you see this particle effect is happening, now I need all my bubbles to have the same particle effect. So I have to create an event for it. So I'm going to move this down so that it's not in a visible layout. And I'm going to go to Event Sheet 1 and on Touched Bubble, destroy it. So this is the place I'm going to add one more action before destroy on uh, my event touch event on touched bubble and I'm going to add an action so I'm going to click on add action and I'm going to select my bubble and press next and I'm going to scroll down and look for miscellaneous spawn another object and click next I'm going to click to choose and this time I'm selecting my spawn particle press OK and I'm going to say layer 1 because our bubble is in a layer 1 and press done. Now let's test it. All the bubbles should uh, have the particle effect. There you go. So you just created a particle effect for the bubble.